Hey, Harry Potter fans, Peter Kenneth here. Welcome to the Potter Collector Channel. We have some really exciting news today. An update. Finally, after months and months of waiting, we have an update on the new Harry Potter series that Max, formerly HBO Max, is going to be producing for us Harry Potter fans. It was announced today, which is appropriate because June 26th is the day that Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone was published for the very first time in 1997. So that's really fun. But what's even more fun is the news that we have received. Max has found the showrunner or the writer of the series as well as the director and executive producers. So things are really moving forward quickly. Francesca Gardner was announced today as the showrunner. She is known for the TV show Succession, which is also on Max. She's also worked on His Dark Materials, AMC's Killing Eve, and has written on other shows like The Rook and The Man in the High Castle. Now, I've not seen any of the things that she's worked on, so I don't know how good of a writer she is, but if she was given the job to write the Harry Potter series, I think she's probably pretty good, and I'm gonna have to watch some of these shows now. Mark Mylod has been announced as the director of, well, some of the episodes, also executive producing. So it sounds like they will have multiple directors directing different episodes, which is true for TV shows. Usually there are a few different directors for guest directors, but it sounds like Mark is kind of the one in charge of this new Max series. Now, when it comes to Mark's work, I'm very excited because he's worked on shows the Last of Us, Game of Thrones, The Minority Report, Entourage, Shameless, Succession, but specifically The Game of Thrones, The Last of Us, those are the two that makes me most excited because my vision of this show is like a mixture of Game of Thrones and Downton Abbey. I don't know why those are the two, but that's kind of my vision of what I think would be really successful for Harry Potter fans. And the fact that he's worked on Game of Thrones will hopefully bring that selfish vision of, of yours and mine, if you have the same vision, to life. Now, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, back in April of last year, 2023, Warner Brothers and HBO Max announced that the Harry Potter books were going to be turned into a television series. Now, what does that mean? That means we're gonna get to see things that we read about on screen or on our televisions or our computers. Things that they couldn't fit into the movies because they were limited to time, we are going to get to witness before our eyes. And they're doing that for each of the seven books. So if you missed things like SPEW and Goblet of Fire, that's probably gonna be in there. Or a more true to the book ending, for Deathly Hallows, that's probably gonna be in there. As far as time frame goes, each book is going to be its own season. That's early reports at least. And also with early reports, this project is gonna span 10 years or 10 seasons, which tells us that most likely the last three books will be split into two seasons each. There are so many questions when it comes to this series. When are they gonna start it? Are they gonna be so true to the book that they start it in chapter one at the Dursleys with Uncle Vernon going to work at Grunnings and then coming home, learning that Dudley had his first word today, which was shan't or, or won't in the American edition? Or will it start with the death of the Potters? So I'll be very curious to see how they adapt the books into a TV series. Will they end a season midway through a book? Is the TV show gonna be just called Harry Potter? Or is each season gonna have a different name? So many different questions which I'm sure will be answered at some point, but it's really fun to speculate at the moment. Now, the showrunner and the director weren't just, you know, chosen from, you know, just picked out of, from nowhere. There were multiple people in the running and they had months to do a pilot episode, to create a vision, and met with J.K. Rowling, the HBO Max team, Warner Brothers, and Francesca and Mark came out as the winners. This is what J.K. Rowling says about this announcement. I'm truly thrilled to announce our director and writer, both of whom I interviewed as part of the production team. Both have a genuine passion for Harry Potter, and having read Francesca's pilot script and heard Mark's vision, I'm certain the TV show will more than live up to expectations. Now there are going to be new actors for this series, which I personally feel is the smart decision. Just do a complete reboot, 
I don't want to see Tom Felton as Lucius Malfoy. I want to see all new faces in this TV show, which will be separate from the movies. The movies will still have a great place in everyone's heart, every Harry Potter fan's heart, but this TV show is going to be something different. So for me, I would love to see brand new actors and unknown actors playing all the iconic roles that are in those seven books. J.K. Rowling also said when this announcement was made last year, Max's commitment to preserving the integrity of my books is important to me, and I'm looking forward to being part of this new adaptation, which will allow for a degree of depth and detail only afforded by a long-form television series. So J.K. Rowling will be heavily involved in this series. Neil Blair will also be involved, as well as David Heyman. His name has been announced as a possible executive producer. And David Heyman was the producer for all of the Harry Potter films. Now, there are still so many questions, guys, that are unanswered. What is it going to look like? Are they going to completely change Hogwarts Castle? Are they going to make it more like Hogwarts Legacy, where it looks like Hogwarts, but they're adding little bits and pieces to it? Are we going to have some of the same musical numbers? kind of flowing throughout the score of the television series. You know, is Hedwig's theme going to be played? Who are these new actors going to be? Who are, who's the golden trio? All that will be announced in due time, but it is very exciting that we have received a new update and that we can see things moving forward when it comes to this TV show. My thought is if they stick to the books, stick to the books, it's going to be a success. While no date has been announced, the estimated release year will be 2026. What are your guys' thoughts about the announcement of the director and the showrunner? What are your thoughts about the television series? What do you want to see? What are you excited to see? Have you seen the shows that the showrunner and director have worked on? What are your thoughts on those shows? Do you think that these people are going to be able to adapt the Harry Potter books into a long-form television series? Let me know, as well as the rest of the Potter Collector community, in a comment down below. As you can see, and as I've said, I am very excited about this. This is really a dream come true for a Harry Potter fan. After watching the films, which I still like, and being disappointed that certain parts of the books weren't included, and while even with a long-form television show, they can't include every single moment, they can include a pretty darn good chunk of each book. When it comes to Harry Potter and the Harry Potter fandom, it's not going anywhere, guys. We have the TV show coming. We have a new theme park coming. The Ministry of Magic at Epic Universe and Universal Studios Orlando. Today, the original cover artwork of Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone sold at Sotheby's for $1.6 million. The high estimate was $600,000. It sold for a million dollars more than the high estimate. And that's not including the buyer's premium. So ultimately, that original cover artwork sold for $1,920,000. That's just massive. Harry Potter isn't going anywhere, y'all. And it's thanks to us, the fans. If you have any questions about Harry Potter, feel free to leave a comment down below. You can also join the Potter Collector community on Instagram, at the Potter Collector, on Twitter, now known as X, at Potter Collector, or on Discord. The official Potter Collector Discord is linked down below. Now it's time to like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, keep collecting. Thank you so much for watching, and if you're new here, welcome! We cover all things Harry Potter on the Potter Collector channel, like books, merchandise reviews, unboxings, Wizarding World of Harry Potter videos, and more. If you would like to subscribe, you can click right here. You can also check out a previously posted video right around here. If you have any questions about Harry Potter, feel free to leave a comment down below. I am happy to help. But for now, I must go. We'll see you next time. Whoa, where'd he go?